In this video, we're going to guide you through on how to use the content aware fill feature in Photoshop. Now, I have a photo here. I wanted to make a background cop like a, another copy of it just in case you don't ever want to ruin your photo and then have to get the photo again. So for this example, it's pretty easy. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, I like to use the lasso tool. And so what you really want to do is just kind of create a border around your image and make sure you connect the image, the, uh, the align. That way you have a s selection over your object. And then pretty simply, you just go up to uh, edit and then fill. And then make sure you have your content aware filled selected and you hit OK. And it's going to take a minute to, to do it. And you see now, now the book has disappeared. And now it's, you can go in and adjust some things in here if you really wanted to, but you can also do that. Another way to do it is you could have your quick selection tool. Now it's, you have to be mindful for a photo like this with the shadows, but you can quick select something and you can go up to select, modify and expand your, your pixels. So for this, let's just do like a 10 pixel expansion, hit OK. And then now you see that it expanded the selection more, more uniformly. But the same process applies. You can go to edit and fill and hit content aware and hit OK. And the same process works perfectly fine. So you see here, I, I missed some of the shadow with, with the selection, so that's something that you have to keep in mind. But simply, simply as that, you can go here and see that the original copy has has the book. And if I were to turn on this layer, the content aware took away the photo and now took away the book. And now you have just a plain canvas for anything you want to do. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. So for some more Photoshop tips. See ya.